than 5 million Americans are living with Alzheimer's, and that number is expected to triple by 2050. It's the only one of the top 10 deadliest diseases without a cure, way to prevent it, or even a way to slow it down. But as I found out today, Duke University is working to help Alzheimer's patients in our community and their families, who often serve as their caretakers, to live in the moment through sharing art. Great, great. Yes, so they're all subtly different. Jessica Rooley is an associate curator at Duke's Nasher Museum of Art. Once a month, she gives what's called a reflections tour. Lee? <laughs> yeah, tell me what you mean. The 30 or so on the tour are paired, one Alzheimer's patient with his or her caretaker. They discuss the art, learn about it, and even try their hands at reproducing it. And so having the pair together really offers that opportunity for just a normalizing experience, something outside of doctor's visits and appointments that can really quickly become the life of a family with Alzheimer's. And she knows just how important that is. My grandfather experienced Alzheimer's. Ruli watched her grandmother be his sole caretaker for a decade before he passed away two years ago from complications with the disease. Now, through this program she started one year ago, she's watching loved ones come together, if but for a moment. What do you get out of this, especially with your personal connection to the disease? Everything. These are my favorite tours to give. The interactions between care partners and the visitors with Alzheimer's, the joy. Earlier this morning, we were in the galleries, and the galleries were full of laughter. The amount of fun that people are having, it just makes it all worthwhile. And they do have a lot of fun. Right now, the program is a partnership with the Duke Family Support Program. It provides information, care tips, and groups for families facing memory disorders. The museum plans to expand the tours to the community this summer. You can find out more about the program right now on WNCN.com. Just look for this story.